Guys, we're on the side of a volcano and the terraces of the farmland is just... not Indonesia. It's not... This is not Indonesia. <laughs> is it Nepal or Indonesia? I don't know. Which one? Salamat siang and good afternoon from Nepal van Java. So today, Shane and I Woo. and our friend Antonio. We did an amazing trip today <laughs> from Georgia to here. From Woo. beautiful Nicola, road. Beautiful ah. Mata. So today, all three of us are going to be walking around and exploring Nepal van Java. We're going to be walking around the farmland, the small village here. And we're also going to be telling you some of the facts about this place, a little bit of the history. And we're just going to see what we can get into and see what we can find. So Nepal van Java, also named Dusun Butu, is located here in central Java in Indonesia. And it's about an hour away from the city of Magalang. Now the area here got the nickname Nepal van Java because the architecture and the buildings look strikingly similar to that in Nepal right on the side of the volcano here. And there have been a few famous Instagram photographers with good cameras and drones that have come here and taken some pretty cool photos that have also put this place on the map. Looks like we got a little bit of shade, some clouds, it was pretty hot, but now we are continuing up this path, up the side of the volcano, kind of go see where the farmers are and how they're working. You can see some of the farmers here, I mean, carrying tons of stuff. Looks like they've got some, some branches and some other greenery all the way down the volcano here back down into the village. It's pretty incredible. The volcano that we're on, its name is Gunung Sumbing, and it's actually the third tallest volcano in all of Java, and it stands at 3,371 meters. Antonio's over here, taking us on a little bit of a detour, shooting off different views. Ooh, it's beautiful, man. Guys, travel. <laughs> yeah. We'll be more happy. So we're actually nearing the base camp where people start their ascent to the summit of Mount Sumbi. And you can see from the sign right here that we're only at about 1,900 meters right now. So we still got another 12, 1,300 or so. Oh, dude's rolling through fast on a scooter. Getting all the photos in and all the spots. Hey, say hello. Video, you have video? Hello. Hey. America. America. <laughs> The people are so nice. We've got a little bit of clouds coming in here, but us three boys are trekking along. Keeping it up. Having a good time. Someone got, yeah, someone got. Someone got. We're gonna make it to the Punchak. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> Yang yang cepat berapa lama? Kalau urasin sih biasanya itu dua jam sampai dia. Dua jam? Iya. Sampai puncak. Sampai puncak. Oh. Tapi kalau puncak. So our new friend here just said, if you're really hiking fast, it's gonna take you about two hours to get to the puncak or the top of the volcano here. But if you're going about a normal speed, it's probably take a little bit more than that, maybe four or five hours. Now that we're looking at it, I don't think you're doing this <laughs> no in two way. hours. There's not a chance. <laughs> I don't think you're doing it in two hours. We'll take four-ish. Yeah, four probably four. Four if you're booking it. He said eight if you're just chilling, relaxing, and everything like that. Yeah. Antonio, can you make it to the top or what? Uh, excuse me? Of course, yeah. of course. <laughs> I can do anything here. This is so beautiful. It's not hard to work here, you know, to, to walk because yeah. you really enjoy every single Kilometer, yeah, it's, it's yeah, amazing, yeah. man. So, how did we meet Antonio? Well, we met Antonio in our hostel in Jogja, and Antonio's from Malaga in the south of Spain. He's a solo traveler. And you know, one of the best parts about traveling is getting to meet other travelers, but you know, during the pandemic, it's hard to do that. But we're stoked that we met Antonio. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I was thinking to go alone somewhere, and they say, no, 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 you're gonna come with us <laughs> to the end, and we show you some place around, and I'm really enjoying yeah. with these people. The lost boys, <laughs> this is amazing, and, guys. And Antonio is very, very well traveled. I don't know how many countries he's been to, but okay. in Indonesia. Indonesia is, yeah, until now is, is, is the best. The, best. <laughs> the view, the countryside, the skyline, and the people, and the food, yeah. and the ice cream in Georgia. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. We have to be honest, you know, the bottom 
where the entrance to the to Nepal on Java is. It is a bit touristy, it's commercialized, you pay for a ticket for entry, it's 10,000 rupiah, but I mean, when you come up here to the farmland and walk these small paths, you know, not many people come up here, you get to interact with the locals and it's, it's not so touristy anymore when you get up here. And another thing with these farmers is, you know, most of these men and women are probably in their 50s, maybe 60s, some, you know, look a little bit older, and they're still out here working every day, trekking up and down the side of a volcano. They're carrying these big sacks of potatoes and all the other crops here. You know, some of them weigh 30, 40 kilos on their back, and it's incredible to see. You know, maybe it's something native here to, you know, Southeast Asia, seeing people that old continue to work. It's not something you see that often in the Western world, especially manual labor. Sayurkan enak kolnya, sama, sama, sama kok. Gue pisuk kok, namanya sama. Nikmati ya. Seadanya kan lebih enak. Mari, Azar. Semoga ya, hati-hati. Ya, guys. You know the weather here is always changing. I mean, one minute it's completely cloudy and kind of chilly, and then. You get a little pocket, little window where the sun pokes through and it's sun's beaming on you. It's hot. It's hot now. It's your Chuachanya Panas. We're in a really cool valley right now. Pinched in between with the top of Gunung Sumbing right there. One of the questions I had is why are they farming here? And what are they farming? And I had no idea, but you know, the earth here and the ground is so fertile from the volcano that it's a great place to farm. And they also get a lot of rain here. So they can grow a lot of crops here that they might not be able to grow in other parts of Indonesia. And we spoke to some of the farmers and they told us that they're farming broccoli, cabbage, potatoes, and various other crops. How are we feeling? I'm feeling good. How are we feeling, Antonio? I feel very, very good, very happy. <laughs> I'm taking really nice picture and I enjoy a really, really nice place. It's not my first time here, but it's the best, it's for the sure. Best. Good <laughs> weather, <laughs> good people. Yeah. Just look at this place. Look at these terrace farms. Look at these little valleys, these little peaks and passes. It all leads up right there to the head of that big beast. Ask this any, Papa? Yes. Berapa umur umur kamu ni? Sembilan empat. Sembilan? Sembilan empat tahun. What? Is it ninety something? Sembilan empat. Sembilan empat. Sembilan four. Yeah. Sembilan empat. Really? Oh my goodness. Beforehand, we believe that most of the people we saw here were 60 or so, 50s, 60s, still doing this hard manual labor. But this gentleman we actually just met who invited us back to his house, he said he's 94 years old. And he's still out here farming. That's mind blowing. That's absolutely mind blowing. The clouds have cleared up and given us amazing views of the volcano. We're gonna head down. Rob said he knows of a wall room he went to last time with great food and an amazing view. Okay guys, we've walked down into the village a little bit. And we're gonna hang out here at this beautiful Warung, which sits right over the valley. I'll walk you guys in. Coming through here, beautiful rainbow colored. You can see the boys out here hanging out. Antonio's getting good for photos, yeah? Look at this. <laughs> yeah. Look at this view. Look at this view. view. Ready for the best part? Woo! Right over the valley. Look at that. We got our lunch here. Nasi goreng, I am goreng. Oh, it looks delicious, doesn't it, Tony? Yes, let me try. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. This is a happy life. It's a good life. This I am kampung goreng, besar. I got that sambar teras. Yeah, let's try it. with sugar. Wow, I never tried this before. Yeah. This is really good. I saw them. Ooh. Amazing. Yeah, it's delicious. All right. We're going to sit here on this beautiful area, have our lunch. That's going to close everything out. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, view all of our content. We're going to keep going on our future travels all around here in Java. So stay tuned.